said was that he talked about how um, you guys did the Explosion in Mexico Expressway and like no one noticed it. Are people noticing, you know, the, the big explosion you guys are having now? Well, the funny thing is, like, in the first season, when we would go to a house, you know, or a business or something and say, hey, we want to rent your business. Uh, we want to shoot something here. People would always say, or oh, we want to blow something up here. Um, we got a lot of like burn letters. It's like a hospital show about a burn unit or something. What is that, right? People didn't. The show hadn't been on, or it had been on, but people hadn't seen it or weren't aware of it. Um, and so the explosions, like people had no reason to think there would be an explosion in Miami. Like you just, there's no. So they don't see it because they don't expect to see it, right? Even if it's there, if you hear a loud bang. Oh, it must be a car backfiring. The truth is, now in Miami, if people hear a loud bang, oh, burn that is just probably blowing something up. Let's run over and look. And so, uh, you know, from the first season, you know, by the time the third season came around, like, we had one scene where people were, like, bringing out hibachi and, like, barbecuing while they watched the, you know, and, and it, it sort of will make the, you know, the Twitter and stuff has really risen since the show started. Now, the people figure out that Bernard is blowing something up, boom, it's everywhere. And everybody's like racing to the, you know, to see it go. And I will say, there are some things that are less satisfying to see if you see them for real. Most of the explosions on Burn Notice are more satisfying to see in person than they are on TV. I mean, there's the occasional one that's just a pop or it looks better on TV. But some of them are just like, wow, that was amazing. You know? so, uh, so, yeah, the people notice that. Um, I'm, a, I'm a fan of both, both your shows, the uh, Burn, Burn Notice and the Good Guys. Um, um, what, 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 have, what has been your, 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 your challenges for, like, like what? Oh, um, I mean, it's like a very, Burn Notice, this is a little bit inside baseball, but Burn Notice is all, we never break point of view. We are with the main characters all the time, right? And so occasionally we will break point of view. Our rule is if the bad guys are doing something and Michael would absolutely know they're doing it, we can watch it even though Michael's not there. But we never go like, here's Michael, and here's a bad guy, and the bad guy's approaching, and then back to Michael. We never do that, right? Which is a very odd rule to have on television. Um, on the good guys, it's the exact opposite, right? On the good guys, it's all about breaking POV. It's all about showing what's going on over here and what's going on over here. So from a story-making perspective, they are opposite shows. And so that's very odd. And so I'll go, sometimes I've, at the beginning of the year, it was like, I'd go into the, the Burn Notice offices and realize I was, you know, like, oh, we can't do that kind of scene. That can never happen on Burn Notice, that scene I'm thinking of. The other thing I, uh, it's been really exciting, actually, and I, I've, staff on Burn Notice has come along so much, and, like, everybody's so, so much part of the team that it's not... It's not as challenging as you might think. I will say the one big sacrifice is there was a time when you could name you could name a number and you and you could say two eleven and I could say all the guest stars, all the names of all the good guys, all the names of all the bad guys, everything about the show. And we used to be able to talk in code on Burn Notice. We could say it's a three sixteen beginning and a two eleven end. It's a it's a two, it's a, it's one oh one plus 116 with a, or you know, 112 with a, a 312 ending, right? And you know, new writers would come into the show and just be like, what are they talking about? <laughs> um, but I can't do that anymore. I, uh, I can do it for the first three seasons, and I've, I've now, if you say 402, uh, you got to tell me the name of the episode. So that's been a, that's been a new one. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you.